Hello, and welcome to another Modern Commerce Talks session from Eventia. As always, I'm your host, Jack Stratton from Insider Trends, and delighted to be joined today by Gabriel Sturk, who is a UX lead at Eventia. Hello, Gabriel. Hello, Jack. Um, so no, it's the first time um, we've spoken on this subject, so um, really great to have you on, Gabriel. Thanks for finding the time. So um, today, broadly, what we're going to be talking about is the role of UX in e-commerce. And actually, um, this idea that sometimes uh, a problem with some businesses is that, that UX can be something that is brought into a project, maybe too late, maybe it's a little bit of an afterthought. Um, so what I want to start with very broadly is this question, why should um, e-commerce projects, in your opinion, opinion, actually start with UX? Yeah, I think it's a great way to kickstart uh, with UX, uh, to you know, kickstart the discovery phase. Uh, when we start to look at wireframes or more visual mockups, uh, we get a lot of uh, ideas and we can see opportunities or challenges, uh, challenges, both uh, technically and uh, and uh, yeah, logistically. Uh, so I think it's a great way to start to define uh, the scope and start to estimate the scope and see what kind of uh, yeah features and user stories we have to have in the project. So uh, interesting. Uh, so. Sorry to jump in. That's really interesting because I didn't even think of it like that. So actually what you're saying is UX should come first because it can almost help you with the briefing, with the pre-planning before the project even begins. Yeah, really, it, because it's a great, you know, uh, when you see stuff more visually, it, it's easy to see, okay, we have this, uh, these requirements that we didn't thought of, maybe. Uh, and then we can start to, you know, talk about it. We can uh, bring in every stakeholder as necessary talk to developers and see, okay, how can we solve this and uh, how will it impact the uh, the overall scope? So yeah, I think it's great to have it uh, at the beginning. When you're working on projects at Eventia, do you have a hard time convincing clients to start with UX? What does that, what does that challenge look like from, you know, your point of view? Uh, yeah, it could, yeah, it, it uh, differs a lot, uh, but but I think you want to start with the development because then you see stuff uh, happening. Uh, so I think it's an easy way to start talking uh, code and uh, so on. Um, but yeah, I, I really think we should start with the UX. Uh, and as I said, uh, it's it's a lot of help for for the whole team. Uh, it, it's a lot of interesting discussions uh, showing up. Great, and then so you know, I get. I think I'm pretty clear that, you know, um, starting an e-commerce project with UX is important for discovery, um, briefing, planning the project. Um, moving on from that slightly, what benefits does it bring starting with UX in terms of an e-commerce project? What would be the big things that would help you to sell the idea of building UX in at the beginning? Yeah, I mean, it starts with if, if we talk about UX in form of like uh, user research and uh, interviews and so on. Uh, we get the grip, you know, what, what are the customers looking for uh, at this specific site? Uh, and I would say it is, you know, both uh, same time and money, knowing from the beginning what we need to do. Uh, so, so yeah, I think it's a really, really good way to to save time, time and money, uh, having you know this, uh, yeah, th this base to to build upon. So they're the big benefits, saving time and money. Is there any kind of additional advantages that are kind of maybe a bit less obvious? Uh, yeah, I w but it's more, more, more or less, you know, uh, find, finding the combination between, uh, you know, the whole uh, Omniscope uh, and find, okay, we have, mm. maybe we have dependent, dependent, dependencies on, uh, uh, from the physical store or the people, our clients, customers maybe are used to, to having uh, this, the products in a certain way or the customer service in a certain way. So you mind the UX is just not, it's not just, you know, where things are placed. It's the whole flow from, from visiting the physical store uh, to Googling into to the e-commerce site and, you know, uh, finishing uh, a purchase and uh, maybe even return. Uh, so, so yeah, it's to, you know, get the whole overview, uh, the whole Omni experience, I would say. That's interesting. So actually, the I guess one of the benefits is that UX as a kind of foundation for e-commerce projects, as opposed to a layer that you bring in further down the project, is increasingly beneficial in an increasingly kind of omni-channel world. Yeah, it really is uh, because customers have a, you know a whole other uh, expectations on e-commerce today. 
maybe you know uh, it took a huge turn after uh, or during the pandemic with uh, like click and collect and that kind of uh, solutions so you know you have to be uh, you have to be uh, yeah you have to be thinking of the whole the whole flow and the whole process yeah it makes sense and of course yeah ux can map all those different journeys at the beginning as opposed to building a single channel solution that then you have to try and fix further down the line that makes a lot of yeah. sense to me yeah i mean the journey doesn't start necessarily on the website so uh, mm. that, that's something you have to take uh, in consideration yeah i totally agree um great and so i guess as a kind of um finishing point gabriel what would be maybe uh you know someone's just dipping into this talk and they're thinking you know that you know they're interested in the subject they want to know how UX at the beginning of an e-commerce project can help them, why it's a good thing. What would be a couple of, what would be like one or two just practical things you would say to them to help them maybe to make that decision, to convince maybe one of their colleagues to do it this way around? What would be the one or two simple takeaways you'd give them? Uh, no, I think it would be, you know, uh, the importance of uh, user research and testing uh, for one. Uh, you know, uh, in combination with uh, like analytics, uh, maybe a hot jar or, you know, those kind of uh, features to really know, okay, but what does this data mean? Uh, in combination with uh, interviews, we can really, you know, uh, get a grip of the customer's actual problems. Uh, how are they using the site? Not just looking at data, but actually talking to, to real customers as well. Uh, I think that's one important step to actually, you know, understand and uh, know your customers. Um, and then, of course, uh, you know, uh, talking about conversion and conversion rate uh, mm. to see, OK, uh, how can we actually, you know, we can do A and B testing, testing to see uh, does this solve, you know, the problem? Can we increase the conversion? Is it a better way to to navigate uh, to this product or category or or yeah, stuff like that? So, I mean, it, it's really I mean, e-commerce is a lot of it, it's conversion. <laughs> it's, mm. it's what it's yeah. about, more or less. Uh, and then brand building, of course. Uh, but I really think it's uh, it's important to understand your customers and uh, see what brings the conversion uh, upwards. Yeah, I love that. So user research, testing, conversion, and I completely agree. I think all commerce is about conversion. We forget that sometimes, but it really is. Oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, awesome, uh, Gabriel. Been so um, interesting. Uh, learning a bit more. I, I think we'll talk. Maybe we'll talk again, and we can go. Um, you know sort of one step deeper with some of your UX expertise. I think it's been a really nice uh, sort of starting point. So hopefully we get to talk again. Um, thanks for anyone um, listening or watching to this. Um, we've got tons more of these talks up online about all different aspects of uh, modern commerce, digital commerce um, uh, on the Eventsy website. So um, check out some of those as well. Um, thanks for your time, Gabriel, and hopefully we'll speak again. Cheers. Thank you.